Aloha. I want to do a quick video in reference to the difference between false truths and uh, half truths and how I observe actually uh, a half truth to be even more destructive than a false truth because a false truth is easier to discern uh, you're you're going to be it's easier to point out and uh, you can make whatever kind of moves you're gonna make after you've pointed that out you can see more of what the storyline is being presented to you in reference to a half truth the half truths are usually designed to be more difficult to point out and also when activated within a version of reality are designed actually to expand the system that is supposedly uh, being exposed with the information itself coming from that half-truth. The way these systems are designed that we are aware of for example, the mainstream media, the alternative news, the so-called conscious community, the uh, disclosure program, the Russell Brands, the Joe Rogans that are out there. These are individuals who are heavily anchored within the system itself on many different levels and definitely have been included within the algorithms of this so-called adjustment or system uh, adjustment as a whole. As you see the Bernie Sanders program which was completely different than the regular politician just as predating that was the Barack Obama program which really doesn't wasn't any different at all other than the first black president which really doesn't matter when he's done exactly the same thing as every other president and actually worse than so there is no difference so this is an actual shift when you bring Bernie Sanders in the mix when you bring uh, news outlets like the the Young Turks network uh, Alex Jones being and all these these programs becoming more mainstream the Joe Rogan the so-called satellite radio stations the Russell Brand and the truth this is a very new uh, layer of information sharing that has been installed within the so-called technological or internet age that can be um, understood as a more complex version of the layers that have led up to this for example like before tv you had the radio and before the radio you had the newspaper so wh whoever was in charge of the, the printing press and the newspaper um companies they can actually put out a layer of consciousness that is going to promote for example going to war who you should hate so you know who you should uh, tell your son or daughter to go fight for or fight against excuse me um, and the newspaper will will make that individual sign a contract at that time to go give their life away for this illusion next came the radio which is the same thing as the newspaper to where whoever owned the radio station and the disc jockeys and the uh, the, the so-called news that was being projected through the radio and actually those those um <laughs> those government information streams it did the same thing as the newspaper when the television was activated that was all based upon war. This is all based. This is basically the control and the power grid through information, 
information, lack of information, lack of understanding of who and what you are as an individual, as a family, as a culture, as a collective across the earth plane is actually a big part of how uh, and you can be enslaved on every level. So the funneling of information through the newspaper with technology meaning to expand the program, they released the radio, then they released the television. When the television was, was released in order to expand the, the program itself, uh, they had to also create another power grid, which was the NASA programming. So as soon as the television was in a number of people's homes, this is when the, the idea of the universe um, power grid was installed into the collective consciousness with supposedly NASA going to war or going going to war basically going to war with the consciousness but NASA going to the moon the idea of that that Hollywood movie scene uh, it's for power and control. You have Russia involved in that time frame. You have the other space, Russia space program. You have all these other storylines that create this um, global sort, this uh, this global mentality that they were creating. Uh, in quotations, obviously. So this mentality, this globe model mentality is really a power grid mentality through the false and half truth information stream that gets pumped out by the so-called powers that be when the television came out you had star trek you had star wars you had everything that made the nasa program the globe model programming real was also uh, installed in order to create the distraction world which was leading up to video games MTV the pop culture uh, the expansion of NASA the introduction of the computers and the internet age which was the next layer of information just like back in the si late 60s NASA was installed when the television was installed with the internet age, you're having the alien agenda, the new age agenda, the CERN programming talking about crashing photons to open up interdimensional doorways and this whole thing. These are storylines that are being installed into the system in order to eat conspiracy theories. These are all systems that are getting installed into uh, the 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 consciousness as a whole in order to maintain the power and control through focus with this focus comes the need for compartmentalization of the information itself so you didn't need to compartmentalize much when you had the newspaper you just had the different newspaper newspapers around the world or around the the uh, the country that just like you see these news anchors saying the exact same words about um, Easter or Christmas or whatever it is that they're told to say because the network told them to. Same thing happened with the networks in um, the newspapers, the radios, the television. Now the internet expanding into actual individuals. It needs to be more personal. So now you have... People like Joe Rogan, Russell Brand, Alex Jones, the Young Turks. And since the information world has gotten more people connected with um, so many different layers of reality, the distraction world has to also expand. So this is why you have personal computers in your hands on a regular basis with social media to keep that distraction up also amplifying the disempowerment or backwards programming of your energy centers with like the sexual programming uh, the the installing of stuff like the gay agenda mentality the alien agenda uh, the amplification of the political program as if it were like more powerful than it is 
uh, Bernie Sanders was only Bernie Sanders because of pretty much social media and the alternative news. So it works hand in hand, just as much as the alternative news helps to bring in the idea of Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders helps the idea of the alternative news. Just like Alex Jones helps to bring in the storyline of Donald Trump, Donald Trump helps to bring in the storyline of Alex Jones and the idea of conspiracy theory locked into the idea of Alex Jones. On the outskirts of all this, and the reason, and one of the reasons why I'm making this video right now, mostly because I haven't referenced uh, the the presidential perspective in some time now, but I wanted to link in together these various information streams and really just give an example of how half truths are actually worse than false truths, um, and some examples of some of the half-truthers that are out there. Russell Brand bring, being a perfect example uh, in his obvious, in obviously his names, the truths, and, and the jingle that he has is um, truths is like the news. If the news were true, I want some truths. Let's have some truths. So the news is not actually, he's saying the news the truth is like the news if the news were true, but the news is not meant to be true. The news is a propaganda machine. So he's saying truth is like the news if the news were true. But even if you're uh, sharing information and calling that news or true news, in relation to the um, the actual intent of the news itself, it's not to share information. It's a propaganda machine. So people can go into oh you're you're going too deep into whatever. No, you can say whatever you want, but how I'm seeing it is these jingles are very important. They are very important in reference to. That's something that you hear all the time. And it actually makes sense when you see the limitations of the information that's being shared within his stream of thought. Before he took his break, uh, some months ago, Russell Brand shared all this information, did all these interviews about, like, he. Um, consciousness and all this information like revealing how the system is corrupt and so on and so forth and then a few videos before he uh, took his break he flipped the script on everybody and backed some kind of uh, relative to the presidential uh, election out here uh, he backed some kind of party in the British elections and everybody was like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, man, what is what is going on here? And then but to me, it made perfect sense because I had seen that he had been his his main agenda <clears throat> from my perspective was to focus your energy on the system itself. And the his protector, his shield from uh from people realizing that it was it's mostly about energy and then that energy being channeled into a, a certain perspective uh, whenever um, he felt the need or whoever he's with or, or whatever it is however that system is uh, gets activated then it'll make its move as like okay this is what we need to be doing so this is where this whole backing of that British party came in that particular time uh, but the shield for that was oh but he's sharing so much conscious information he's he's such a very intellectual individual and so on and so forth uh, so that is the half truth defends itself because half truth to some people is better than no truth because some people see <laughs> <laughs> the, re the the system itself just being not at all true or 
at the same time false truth so half truth is better oh the people just eat it right up uh, but if you're not careful uh, and not really uh, walking with your uh, discernment sandals on then you, you can walk your you can walk yourself right off a damn cliff um, along with uh, the, these individuals who are remaining in that disempowerment perspective the same thing goes for the new age agenda it's about giving your this is about power and control the power and control system that is involved in the new age agenda or the new age community is focused on disclosure the alien agenda so when you are uh, looking at disclosure that is still relative to the system itself having a power over you they have to reveal some information to you and then when they reveal that information the system just expands and then you are now part of a more expansive control grid that is the protection for that world is the same thing like Russell Brand. Oh, it's so conscious and love and light. It's so beautiful and spiritual. And that's only existing the way it is in that world because people have been soaking for any kind of positive, so-called positive energy, given that we've been in this chaotic and destructive world for so long people will just buy this shit right up i did right after the occupy movement i went straight into the new age mentality and then i started to realize its limitations and its focus and where that energy was going and then i started to realize nope fuck this is i know exactly what's going on here and then it became more obvious when you see like the oprah's getting involved with like the Deepak Chopra's and uh, the Eckhart Tully's and still promoting Monsanto and the system you can see how it's all being put together so that's a stream of thought just like Joe Rogan and that same mentality of uh, I'm gonna talk about all this information and, and you know psychedelics and um, so-called truth but I won't speak in reference to the moon hoax, the moon landing hoax or the flat earth and all that kind of stuff, it, even though he did mention it before. See, these, these are all individuals who are within the, the system itself. So the New Age agenda is a system itself to promote the next step, the next expansion of the program. Because there's nothing new. If it was truly something about love and light, then it would be coming from the roots of the ancestors and understanding uh, what was already here and understood on that spiritual conscious perspective uh, before it got co-opted by uh, the so-called New Age community. So... I really just wanted to kind of lump all that stuff together in reference to the idea of information sharing that we are understanding as the expansion of consciousness in this whole thing. And I uh, really just put this out there because um, I just saw this latest video about Russell Brand, uh, Trump versus Clinton. A, a bad punch and Judy show and in there he referenced uh, at the end he went through the whole video and at the end he, he his his words were I'm paraphrasing here something to the extent of in this age of in this technological age basically we can think of something better and one of his something betters he references is as something you should look into is Marxism so when I heard that I was just like, you know what, I got to say something now because this is, with all of the perspectives, all the information that's available, all of the, all of the stuff that's going on right now, when you say, because there's a difference between sharing information and then telling people what to do, um, and when you reference things like this technological age uh, in so many words you're actually saying well 
that's like what we should do and, and people are going to defend and say oh well he's just you know saying in this technology no when you understand that transhumanism is an actual agenda to make a further enslavement and a separation from the human storyline uh, separation from nature in reference to the monkey mind evolution theory lie uh, you see that these programs are very that you, there there are no mistakes especially with so-called intellectuals like a russell brand like a joe rogan there's a damn focus that exists there that these people are aware of and since this is his network the true world order russell brand um, youtube channel then this is what this individual has either himself or whoever he's working with has decided to share with people yeah same goes with the new age world and so on and so forth this uh you can see with the so-called alternative news it's layered it's set up for you to focus it went from the radio to the television to or it went from the from the newspaper to the radio to the television to the nasa program to the to the video games to uh the computers to the internet to the mainstream media or from the local news to the mainstream media expansion of the political system into the alternative news at the same time with the new age agenda uh, they play off of themselves and build themselves up in order to expand the storyline into a, a further a compartmentalization of the boxes within the box of disempowerment itself so this is why you have the TYT backing of Bernie Sanders, which was only there to give a push to the Hillary Clinton to, uh, power structure to be more digestible for the people so that they don't vomit when they're uh, thinking about her as a potential leader. Uh, Bernie Sanders was there as that to make her more like palatable. And then uh, you have Alex Jones doing the same thing for Donald Trump in reference to the so-called conspiracy program. So it's like a double win. Uh, you get more focus and more credibility with Donald Trump because he's linked to the so-called conspiracy world. And then you also get a, uh, a lack of credibility or a lack of... Um, focus on the conspiracy world because it's obviously he's the front man the Alex Joneses are the front man for uh, the Donald Trump reality so these whole these are how all these worlds play off and then you have the individuals that stay on the outskirts but have their little following but are piecing just how they pull from each other Alex Jones pulls from the TYT stream and then TYT pulls from and makes fun of the conspiracy scene. They just beat themselves. They be beat each other up in order to make the entire system um, more fo focus on the system itself. Then you have the individuals who are installed like the Russell Brands and the, um, the Joe Rogans and all the new age people who have you focusing on the secret space program or the disclosure program or or whatever it is that the individuals and then you have obviously the mainstream media with ancient aliens who ties in the George Norris and the coast to coast radio and and the ancient aliens with the Sumerian Anunnaki uh, alien agenda talk and that whole cutting down of the indigenous perspectives as a whole I mean, every single layer is designed to keep you from seeing, uh, actively tapping into your maximum potential as an individual and as a culture and as a collective, as a people, as a whole. 
completely desensitized, distracted, and uh, locked into a disempowerment program on every level. And this is the difference between these half-truths and these false truths. Uh, because the your your truth, uh, which is your inner truth, will only exist. It'll only come from you looking into your your own reality, looking into your your connections with your higher self, your most high. Excuse me, your most high existence outside of the the control grid itself, outside of the the physical. Uh, reality but also understanding the physical reality but from the perspective of your light body or your non-physical reality your spirit reality your 99 percent of who and what you actually are the physical reality the materialistic vanity version of reality is in itself a um an enslavement program a box within a box and these individuals uh, especially when you go into like the Zionists and the whole uh, the mainstream media itself you start to see that uh, these individuals know how to work your mind your focus your energy and they'll utilize it against you um, and to break it down even further, like an example of TYT and and the mainstream media, that's basically just like it's like genetically modified foods straight out the gate. It's just uh, if you're backing Donald or uh, Hillary Clinton and the Bernie Sanders, the system itself, you're selling basically double cheeseburgers and like bacon bacon sandwiches just like chili cheese bacon hot dog sandwiches that's the cancer industry to feed and expand itself the genetically modified at your expense that's what the tyt so-called alternative news including the new age agenda but the new age agenda is actually within all these next um, examples i'm going to give but uh, the genetically modified focus is basically the mainstream and alternative news agenda with Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton, and um, and, and Donald Trump. Uh, but the next agenda after that is the conspiracy perspective, which is a label invented in order to uh, get people from keep people from looking into information as a whole and just to say oh well, that's conspiracy stuff it's to keep the world of intellect and logic um, strong while the so-called outside now you have an inside and outside the inside people the 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 people who are believable or not conspiracies are the storylines that get promoted by the system itself people outside of that are the so-called conspiracy theorists uh, which is like for example in reference to the genetically modified reference would be like this natural foods label that they have out there that doesn't mean anything it's just like natural like natural doesn't mean anything that's still genetically modified bullshit being sold to you the essence itself the information in, in within there is for you to discern but how it's presented to you is like oh this is real change real change from the alex jones network we're gonna be this americana whatever the fuck it is they're trying to expand that make america great again reality as if it were ever great never looking it's creating the foundation within not even even going into the the post-columbian foundations but only staying within the civil war constitutional forefathers perspective of it as if that's like the best thing since sliced bread no that's some quote-unquote natural bullshit that people have been eating forever it's still genetically modified and is a disempowerment program 
one step further than that is like the these Russell Brands and these Joe Rogans that are out there and including the new age agenda or new age movement that's actually like a whole foods organic food or a Walmart like organics that organic food that's being sold in a Walmart it's yeah, it's it's food that's organic, but you're still a part of the Walmart program. You're still a part of the Whole Foods program. And all these systems are all dying. They're all pretty much dead. They're imploding on themselves. But at the same time as they implode, it's up to the individual to um, expand their own perspectives, expand their own worlds into um, whatever the next steps are going to be because at this time now that you say oh well if we're if we're not supposed to be eating from Walmart organics or like this whole Joe Rogan Russell brand new age um, agenda reality you know like what are we supposed to do like I don't know what you're supposed to do uh, all I do know is that the more information that you understand about the entire overstand about the entire scenario that is this control grid the better off we all will be and the more you go looking into who and what you are into your into the, your blood the blood stories into the cultures into the land into the indigenous the aboriginal stories into the genocides the massacres the control grid of this of itself the the birth certificate uh capital legal name uh maritime admiralty sis enslavement system all these programs that in exist to enslave you on every single layer not just the prison industrial complex not just the military industrial complex but going into your your uh your soul industrial complex like how your soul has been enslaved uh beyond all of the box within the box programs uh, and then once we start to unravel that stuff, then whatever it is that we're going to do will present itself naturally. Because as long as we continue to stay within the perspectives of like hopelessness, like, oh, well, what do we do? We're not, we don't know what to do and all this other stuff. Then uh, you'll be working against yourself. And um, the more you start working uh, for the understanding of your your true self, your true understanding, overstanding, and understanding of all the layers, how they work together, then that's when our uh, doingness will start to present. It's whatever it is, whatever steps we're going to do will present itself on its own. And like I said in a previous video, if you start trying to think of things to do from... A layer of consciousness that's still within a box programming or a box within a box or a disempowerment program then you'll actually be expanding the enslavement or that box program around you um, just like I was yelling at the bankers in the Occupy time frame and not really seeing that this is an actual spiritual warfare um, so yeah, that's basically what I wanted to share. So, uh, use discernment and everything that you're, and all the information that you're getting. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to share my perspective on the so-called politics or this whole, like, stream of thought. Because uh, another piece has been re-added to the board with this whole Russell Brand truths and this whole shit and... I really do feel like it is it's more jacked up to be um, promoting this half truth uh, reality in reference to like the false truth reality uh, when you actually are on a constant journey of questioning your reality like it's forever growing so if you're just saying like this is what it all is then you know, there's there's something there. So when Russell Brand went off on this, in this technological age and look into Marxism, I was just like, no, you know what, fuck this. I got to say something about this because that's 
that was definitely a red flag for me the technology reference and the marxism reference i was like you know what there's something something there i mean it's obvious on well, on all the previous videos he did leading up to backing up the the british prime minister thing and you know people can go as far into the researching of all that as they want but anyway just going on now but so that's basically what i wanted to put out with this video so thank you for joining me and until next time from all my relations peace love and harmony